Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. If you're new here or you've just forgotten me by now, my name is Amber and I love all things handbag related with a little bit of emphasis on the brand Vera Bradley. I also do some content related to concealed carry and how that works with all of these beautiful bags that I love. So if any of that sounds good to you, then stick around because I'm finally back. So today, well not today because you're going to see both of these videos at the same day, but it's a different day for me. So today we're doing part two of my three month haul, which is just all the items that I've collected since I've been gone from YouTube. And today is all about the bags. It's just the bags that I've picked up. And again, I do want to say that the majority of these came from my birthday and Mother's Day, but I did sell about 10 bags out of my own collection and so some of what I purchased um, I funded that way and some of it I just purchased and it was just a variety of different things but I have a lot of bags to show you guys I think I have 20 to show you so like I said again I don't typically buy this much in such a short amount of time but Again, the majority of it was from my birthday, Mother's Day, and then um, some of the bags that I sold off from my own personal collection, which I am going to end up having, well, not having to, but I am going to sell some more in the future, so we'll talk about that later. For today, I'm going to try not to make this the video as long as part one was, so let's just get into it. I'm going to start off with, like, the no-name brands again, and then we'll work our way through. I've got, you'll see. Let me just shut up and get into it. So the first bag I'm going to show you, I picked up from Amazon, and I guess it's what you would call a dupe, and it's this little tote bag, and it says the tote bag. If you've seen lately, it's all the rage, the Michael Kors, the, or not Michael Kors, Lord have mercy, <laughs> the Marc Jacobs, the tote bag. Well... I thought that that tote bag was super cute, but I didn't want to pay like two, three, four, five hundred dollars for it. And I was scrolling Amazon one day, as you do, and I came across this one. And it does not say Marc Jacobs on it anywhere. You can clearly just tell that it was inspired by that um, silhouette, the the tote bag silhouette. But this one I think was like twenty dollars or so. So, I just picked it up because I thought it was really cute. And I will do, like, some comparisons, capacity, um, what fits, uh, my overall thoughts, you know, all of that at a later time for each of these bags. Today, I'm just going to try to give you a really, really quick overview of all of these. And if I've used them yet, I'll let you know what I think, you know, all of that. We'll go more in depth later. But for today, we're just going to do the quick version. So this just says the tote bag. It has two grab handles up here. There are no outside pockets. This end is clean. This end has a little loop. I think it says you can put like a scarf or something through it and carry it like that. And then on the inside, um, this bag was super flimsy. So I did have to put um, just like thin cardboard around the outside to give it a little bit of structure because that drove me crazy. But the internal um, configuration of it is this right here. You get one zip pocket and then two slip pockets along one wall. And it also comes with the uh, longer adjustable removable crossbody strap that connects right here onto these uh, little D-rings that sit inside, if you can see that. And the zipper on this is super extended. Uh, I think that looks crazy, so I just tucked it in. But anyway, that's the first bag, just called the tote bag. Actually, it's not the tote bag. It's a dupe. Whatever. Y'all know what I mean. 
Okay, the next one I'm going to show you I also got from Amazon. And this one is like a Vera Bradley dupe wholeheartedly. Um, but when I saw it, I had to pick it up. And I've had this one for months and months and months. But I had to pick it up because it looked really cute. And I, I just wanted to see. So it's this tote bag right here. I'll get you up close and show you the pattern really quick. It's it's really pretty. It's light pinks and there's some blues and it's just a paisley pattern with a little bit of florals in it. But I had to pick it up because this size is in between a small Vera and a large Vera tote. But on the outside you have two slip pockets here, a slip pocket in the center, and then on the back side, you have another slip pocket in the center. And this was the brand on Amazon if you're interested. But again, if you want more info on any of this stuff, just let me know and I can link it in the description box. It has the um, like fabric zipper pull that the Vintage Vera used to have on it. And then when you unzip it, this is kind of what it looks like inside, if y'all can see that. It's identical, not identical, but it's the same layout as the Vera Totes. You have three slip pockets on each side. Three on this side, three on this side. And then it's like the older Vera bags, whereas the bottom has a removable base in it. But I like that these pockets are actually quilted and sit against the wall of the bag. They go all the way to the bottom and they sit against the wall of this bag so that when you put stuff in the pocket it doesn't pull the wall of your bag in you know in and down. Y'all know what I mean. Another um, interesting little feature is the way that they've sewn these pockets. If you can see this little seam right here between the two pockets there um, there's actually an opening at the top of that so, um, I don't know if you can see, but like, this one, this little seam right here in between these two pockets, I can fit my finger in there. You can fit ink, slim ink pens down in those little, um, like seam line pockets. So unintentionally you also have like four little pin pockets in there. But I just thought this was really cute. I did already carry this once just to give it a try. The quality seems pretty good. Um, this definitely isn't the thickest material by any means. But for the price of this, again I think it was somewhere around $20 ish. They did have other patterns, or they do have other patterns. For the price of this, I think you just can't beat it. It's got about the same strap drop as a uh, Vera tote. It's just really, really cute. So, I'm happy I picked it up to give it a try. Okay. Next, I'll show you guys this one. So... This little bag is from uh, Simply Southern. I think I have the tag in here. Let me tell you what this is actually called. If it says on here. It just says Puffy Crossbody Black. So, I guess this is the Simply Southern Puffy Crossbody in Black. And, um... I picked this up at a little local boutique. It was marked down from $44 to like $14. And the reason I picked it up is because when I actually physically picked it up off the shelf and I felt this material, you guys, I wish you could come through the camera and actually feel this for yourself. It's like the most plush, squishy, oh, it just feels so good. And this is a camera bag style. But it's got some decent depth on it because I can't do those really small camera bags. They just don't give me enough room. I think this one's like nine or nine and a half by about six by about 
three and a half. So this one is pretty good size for a camera bag. Now, okay, so this did come with this strap. And um, it was not removable or anything like that. It was adjustable to a degree. But it was fixed on here. And y'all know what I did. I cut those rings off. I replaced them with rings that I prefer. Because while this strap worked, it was a little bit shorter than what I prefer. Like it was sitting up here on me. And I could do that, but it's not my preference. So in part one, I showed you those straps that I got. And this is the bag that I got uh, the black and gray strap for. And I think it looks super cute on it. I have already used this bag. So it sits down a little bit lower with this strap. But I like it. it I think it gives it a little bit of a sporty look. I think it's really cute. So that is the Simply Southern Puffy Crossbody in Black with the strap that I changed on it. And if anybody is interested or wants to know what fits in this or anything like that, absolutely just let me know. So that's the third one. Okay. The next two I'm going to show you are Kipling. So this is the first one I got. And I think if I'm not wrong, correct me if you guys know and I don't. But I think this is called the Brin. I think that's what it was. So. Yeah, Brin, I think. The Brin. I don't I don't know the pattern name or anything, but I saw this on Mercari for sale for like six dollars or something. And I just thought the pattern was cute. I'll show you the back. It's just colorful florals. And I didn't have a Kipling bag before that, so I wanted to try one. And this to me is like a small version of Beer Bradley's 100 handbag. Let me zip it up and I'll show you. So this is what it ends up looking like when it's filled. And it is small. Don't get me wrong. Um, I have a 100 right here. I'll show you. So this is my Vera Bradley 100 handbag in gauge blue, I think. And if you can see the brin next to it, it's uh, quite a bit smaller. So this is definitely a small bag, but I just thought it was really cute. And it was really inexpensive, so I decided to give it a try. So it has a long, adjustable, but not removable crossbody strap. Um, plenty of length on it. I think the silhouette's really cute. And the front has a little snap pocket. I don't know if that's magnetic, is it? Yeah, it's a magnetic snap. You have your little rubber Kipling tag right there. No pockets on the back. And then you have that chunky um, plastic zipper. And I think this is why the bag was so cheap is because on the inside it is white. And if you can see in there, there are a few marks. Um, but I already put this through the washing machine, so I know it's clean, and you can't see the marks from the outside, so I don't really mind it. On the back side, there is one zipper pocket that's really good size compared to the size of the bag. And then on the front, there's a slip pocket. So, just a cute little bag, and... I did pack this one day as well. Oh, and on the side, it kind of features this little loop design. You can't undo that or anything. I think it's just a design feature of the bag to make it look like a little, I don't know, little loop thing. But when it's all packed up, it definitely makes more of like a rectangular boxy shape, like a 100 handbag. So... I thought it was cute. The bag was super, super inexpensive. Like I said, it was like six or eight dollars on Mercari, like next to nothing. And I thought it was cute, so I gave it a try. Well, when this one arrived, 
and I liked it quite a bit. I went on the hunt for some more Kipling bags. Now, I don't know a daggone thing about Kipling as a brand as far as like the bag styles or pattern names or color names or anything like that. Um, that's not, that's not my forte. I don't know that stuff. I just look at it and I can tell you if I like it or not. And during all of my Kipling research, I, I, I ran across a pattern once. I had no idea what it was called. It took me forever and a day to figure out what it was called. But I loved it. I fell in love with it. I became obsessed with it. Well, actually, there are two. Two Kipling patterns. Excuse me. That I saw, researched until I found out what they were called. And then went on the hunt to find something in those patterns. Um, one of those I've already got. The other one hasn't arrived yet. So I'll probably show it to you with my online outlet sale haul from the last Vera Bradley online outlet sale. Um, so yeah, after this I'll show you the other Kipling pattern. But this is one of the two that I became obsessed with. And it's actually the bag I'm currently in right now. And this one is called the Kipling Cali. That's the style. And the pattern is called Aloha Grove. Look at this, you guys. This is freaking gorgeous, honestly. I like purple, but purple's not like my favorite color. I'm more of like a blues and teals and greens kind of girl. But I really do like purple as well. But something about this pattern just as a whole. It's just freaking gorgeous. It reminds me of a tropical destination. I don't know. It's just freaking gorgeous. So the Cali is a fairly simple bag design. This bag in and of itself, boy do I have a story to tell y'all about it, but I'm going to save that for when I do a full review on this bag because it'll take me a minute. Anyway, this is the Cali. I'm not sure on the actual dimensions. I'll go over that later. It has one front zip pocket. No, um, no pockets on the back. The strap is not removable, but it is adjustable. And then the top zip, I'll just try to give you a quick look in here. Sort of, if I can. Um... This bag style actually has a little divider right there. If you can see that, that divides the bag into half on this side and half on this side. And one side gets two slip pockets, the other side gets a zip pocket. But to be such a simple design, this bag is kind of like a Mary Poppins bag. It'll definitely hold way more than what you would think it would just by looking at it but I'll do uh I'll do a better review in the future but yeah I just love this pattern I think it's gorgeous so that was the Kipling Cali in Aloha Grove okay the next bag I have to show you is a just a random brand that I found on QVC when I was looking at some other bags and I was interested and wanted to give it a try. So this brand is called Equip. If you guys have heard of that. It's spelled I-H-K-W-I-P. Pronounced Equip. And this is just called... Um, let me find the tag and I'll tell you what it's called. There's the brand um, tag, and I guess it's just called the bucket bag, if you can read that. Anyway, this is just a nylon bucket bag. I liked the way it looked, though, so I wanted to give it a try, and uh, I have already used this one, and I'll say it was pretty comfortable. Um, it's kind of just like a big tote, honestly. Or that's how I used it. So, 
on each side you have these um little zip around pockets i can't think right now and inside each pocket this brand has put rfid protected card slots now i'll just be honest with you you know that's cool if that's a feature you want to use but for me that's useless because i'm not gonna put my cards in like an outside end pocket that just seems like a strange place to put it but anyway the pockets themselves are you know very functional very useful so you have one there and one here and yes both end pockets have the card slots if you can see them in there so that's uh whatever this front pocket was actually where I put my handgun because I do conceal carry, but it's actually designed for like your tech, your phone or what have you, because it has that soft lining. However, for concealed carry, it worked as a perfect pocket for that. That was all I had in there. Worked great. Um, with this bag, you get two separate straps. I didn't actually use this one yet, but it's in uh, an adjustable, removable, you know, nylon strap, kind of your, just your basic nylon strap. I used this one, which is the shorter shoulder strap. I can show you really quickly, I suppose, what it actually looks like on there. <laughs> the, uh, the interior of the bag is fairly simple. You have one zip pocket along the back wall. You have one slip pocket right here. Oops. I still have receipts in there. <laughs> I'm the world's worst for cleaning out receipts, you guys. But you have one large slip pocket there. And then um, in on this side of the bag, you have a little key leash there. And it does have the little drawstring cinch. This color, I think, was called Military Olive for them. But uh, you also have a magnetic snap closure. And that's pretty much all I did when I carried it. I just snapped it closed and then just threw it on my shoulder. And the length that this shoulder strap sits at, it's just perfect to kind of smash down with your arm and just hold it. And that's what I did. It was really comfortable. It worked great for me, for my purposes. Um, it was a really good. It's, it's a good bag. It's not my favorite by any means that I've ever owned. But, um, I like it. I like this bag. I like the bucket bag style that they have. So, I'm happy with this purchase. With it being the nylon as well, you know, it'll be all weather. This nylon, too, is extremely thick. And, um, it's almost kind of stiff because it's so thick right now. I'm sure with more use, it'll loosen up and be easier to, like, cinch close cinch cl cinch closed but right now it's a little little stiff but it's a good thick nylon it feels nice it feels like quality material so yeah that's the equip bucket bag all right the next one i purchased is from sack roots and i have to throw this one out to warthog princess because a while back she showed a pattern she showed some sack roots items she had picked up in a pattern called Blue Seascape. And I loved that. I thought that was so pretty. So, so, so pretty. And uh, so I went on the hunt for something in Blue Seascape. And I did find a few things. But what I found mostly was just big totes. And I have shelves of big totes. And in all honesty, I don't need more big totes. So... I decided to try something different and what I ended up picking up was this one this is let me find the tag because I have not used this one yet so this is called I have no idea what this is called
I don't know. Not a clue. I'll have to look that up for future when I do a more in-depth review on this one. But the pattern on this one is called the Gray Seascape. So it's the exact same pattern as the uh, Blue Seascape, but in a uh, softer gray palette. And I love grays. I love neutrals. I thought this was so pretty. And if you're familiar with sack roots and their coated canvas, this feels different than their traditional coated canvas. It feels different to me. I think this was just called a flap over something. Flap over crossbody. Anyway, your strap is not removable, but it is adjustable. And it comes with this really, really cute little keychain. It's got like a little pom-pom thing and the little turtle. And you can just clip it off right there. Um, this is a pretty good size bag, actually. So, let's start on the back. On the back, you have one zip pocket. And it's not very big at all. I don't know why they didn't utilize more of this space on the back. But, this pocket only goes to, like, right here and here. So, it's a tiny, tiny, tiny little pocket. Um, but there you can kind of see some of the pattern and the colors in it. It's got that gray base, but it's got all these pretty teals and blues and like pinks and reds and it's got sea life in it. There's the turtle and it's just such a cute pattern. So the front of it, you have a magnetic um, closure on the flap. This little keychain thing is so heavy. I swear it just, look at that. It just pulls it down on that side. But anyway, you have a magnetic closure there. And on the flap, you have a zipper. So, let me undo that zipper. This pocket actually goes all the way to the bottom of the back of the bag. It's an enormous pocket, if you can see that. So, there's super extra security for you. And then, the inside of the bag is kind of your standard two in one, two slip pockets, one zip pocket on the back. But, um, this is kind of like a hipster style bag when you first look at it. Um, like it seems, you know, fairly good size, but pretty slim. But actually, it's just a really floppy bag. You've got a really good depth on here. I think of like probably close to four inches all said and done. So, I, th I haven't used this one yet, but I think it'll hold quite a bit. And two, this material is very soft and flexible, so I think it'll kind of squish out and mold to whatever you put into it. But definitely excited to use that one. So, that's the Sack Roots Medium Flap Over, I think, in the Gray Seascape. Um, let's see, what's next? Okay, I'll show you this one next. <clears throat> this is a bag I've had my eye on forever, but um, couldn't find it at a decent price. This is called, I really do have to find the tag for this one, you guys, because the name of this is like a mouthful. Okay, this is the Kate Spade J Quilted Festive Medium Satchel in Confetti. So, I've looked at this forever and ever and ever because I thought it was so cute and so fun. And the satchel style with like two grab handles or two shoulder straps plus the longer adjustable removable crossbody strap is my favorite style. Just so much versatility that you can use with it or whatever. But this is just polka dots. It's quilted with polka dots. And I've always just thought it was so cute. So pretty. And it's Kate Spade. So it's a good quality. Um, and with her nylon, I've had that before. I know it's good quality as well. 
I love that these um, little grab handles or shorter straps have the hinges so that they just lay flat when you want to use your shoulder strap. Uh, the interior is dark and it is going to be hard for you to see, but it's your standard, again, um, two slip pockets and then a zip pocket on this wall. And then it zips at the top, zips closed, and then you have this in the front of the bag. No extra organization in here, but this pocket goes all the way to the bottom, pretty much to this side, to this side. There are two seams on the bag, if you can see them, one right here and one right here. That's the size of this little pocket that sits right on this front edge. So you have this zip pocket and then this is your main interior pocket. So this front zip pocket is enormous. It's, again, from that seam all the way over to this one, the whole front of this bag. Um... No pockets on the back or anything like that, but I love this bag. I would never carry it on my shoulder with these two straps because that's pretty close to being right in my armpit, but I carried it. I have already used this one clearly because I cut the tags off of it, but I carried it just on the crook of my arm. I couldn't tell you how many times. It's just super comfortable. The only thing that does annoy me about it is, do you hear that? <laughs> where the straps are leather and it's still such a new bag I think with these little hinges those straps do tend to uh, have a little squeaky noise to them but it doesn't bother me it's just it'll get broken <laughs> all right so that was the Kate Spade J whatever all I just said medium satchel and confetti love that so I also recently became a little bit obsessed with neoprene bags. I don't know if y'all have seen any of these, but they're kind of everywhere now. So I kind of got fixated on the idea of it and I went on the hunt for a neoprene bag that I could try. So I was scrolling Amazon, you know, as I do. And most of what I saw were just really big open totes. They had no closure, they had no pockets. And they were like 50-ish, 40, 50 dollars. And I wasn't willing to invest that on a big tote again when I have shelves full of them. And I didn't need another big giant tote. Plus I wanted something that had a zipper and a few pockets. So if I couldn't find the big giant totes, the only other thing I was finding were these little teeny tiny crossbodies that you couldn't. It, it looked like you couldn't fit anything in them. Until... I ran across this one one day and as soon as I saw this one I jumped on it so I had some Amazon credit anyway and I think this one was like 20 ish dollars or so and the difference they all seem to have um, handles like this or the ones on Amazon do which are kind of like that um, paracord type material which is fine it has the little stripes on the front that's fine but this one has a zipper. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a zipper. This one also has little D-rings on each side. Because it also came with a detachable, adjustable crossbody strap to go with it. So I thought that was awesome. None of those other bags had that. It also came with its own little matching pouch. Most of the other big open totes have a matching pouch too, but it's a little wristlet pouch. You can take the wristlet off if you want or whatever, but it's just a pouch. I thought that was really cute. And for the price, 20 bucks, you're, you're darn right I was going to give it a try. Now the interior is black. However, this opening is enormous. So, when you're actually looking into it, you can see all of your stuff perfectly fine. And, this one has some interior pockets. You have a zipper wall, or a zipper pocket on that wall, and two slip pockets on this one. Not only that, this bag also came with a removable base. And look at this. For 20 bucks, 
it's actually seamed out on the edges and finished. So they didn't just, you know, give you a little square piece of plastic to shove down in there. They curved the edges so it wouldn't poke. And then they put a finishing seam on it, which I think is really good um, attention to detail. And I love that you have the option to put it in there or take it out or do whatever you want with it. The other thing, I'll try to insert a picture here somewhere. Most of the other totes, like I said, have straps like this. And the straps come up through the bag somehow, kind of like this one does. But if you can see, like in that picture, there's nothing around that strap to kind of protect the fabric from it. This one, if you look, has little grommets where the strap comes through. And I think that's just another awesome attention to detail that shows this is a pretty good quality bag even though it was only like 20 bucks on Amazon. So I got this one and um, I really like the way the material feels. It's, it's like thick and plush but not heavy and it just feels like a good quality material. So that sent me down the rabbit hole looking for more neoprene bags. <laughs> And I came across a brand on QVC called Thacker. Well, their bags are pretty dang expensive. No, actually their bags are pretty damn expensive. Let's just call it what it is. But I loved the way they looked. So I went on the hunt like I usually do. And I found this one on eBay for like 40 ish dollars. Which in comparison to the 200 that they are, that's pretty good. So this is actually called their duffel bag. And I'll show you why in just a second. But I think you could totally just use this as like an oversized tote because the way the material is, it'll just kind of squish up against you. And it feels so good. Oh, it feels so good. And I love, love, love the color of this. It's a heathered gray. And it has those true, like, striations in it to give it that heathered look. I love that their little logo is just this simple little, um, like, arrow detail thing. Whatever it is. I just love everything about this bag. So this is called their duffel. And the first thing is that it has this little clip where you can clip the straps together and it moves wherever so that if you have this packed full you can throw it up there and the straps won't come off your shoulder um i think that's pretty good detail i can't remember for sure but i think these straps are supposed to be leather but i could be wrong on that so on the back side i have stuff shoved in here right now on the back side, you have a cell phone slip pocket right here. And then you have a magnetic pocket right below it that has the zipper detail. So you can unzip it to make it that trolley sleeve or zip it up just to use it as a pocket. So I love that. Your top opening is a double zipper with this oversized pulls. It unzips super easy. And it zips down like over halfway on both sides. And then, let me open this up and kind of show you. This will hold an absolute metric ton. It's enormous in here. So, let's start on this side. On this wall, this is actually really light colored lining. It's super easy to see. It's just hard for me to get light in here to show you guys. So, against this wall, you have a little Velcro pocket that is padded that they say is for your tablet, laptop, whatever you want. And it also comes with this little water, I think it's waterproof, but they call it their shoe bag. So, you can put dirty clothes in it, shoes, whatever you want. It's just a little bag for you to do whatever you want with. Okay. And then when we turn it around on this side, the first thing 
is that there's this little lanyard and attached to it is this little pouch. Now the cool thing about this is like all the others, you can um, take the little pouch off the clip, right? So, okay, you can use a little pouch. You can also detach this entire lanyard from the inside and then you can clip it back around itself down here and then you have a little wristlet pouch. So you could grab this and run in if you wanted to, however you want to do it. But I think that's awesome that it actually fully detaches, not just the pouch, but you can have the strap with it too. So on this side back here, you get two really good sized um, mesh pockets with the elastic around the top and then a really good sized uh, zipper pocket behind those. So I love this bag. I told y'all I don't need any more totes and that's true. Lord knows I do not need more totes. And in my head, I was thinking, oh, I can just use this as an oversized tote. It'll be super cool and slouchy and it'll be awesome. And oh, there's another feature I forgot to show you. On the bottom, it has those elastics. So you could put a beach towel or uh, whatever you wanted through those, your yoga mat. And the neoprene is also um, water resistant. So that's another thing about this fabric that I love. But, uh, yeah, I was like, I can use this as just an oversized slouchy tote. That'll be so cute or whatever. Or I could use it as an overnight bag or a short trip bag. I don't know, whatever. But I absolutely fell in love with this bag and the coloration and the feel of the material. So I had to get it. Well, y'all know I've told you over and over and over that I am not a backpack girl, and that still stands true, but I fell in love with that tote so much that when I also found a backpack in the same neoprene material from the same company, I grabbed it too. Now, oh, don't fall. This is what it looks like. Super sleek and simple on the outside. I love the way it looks. Um, I'll go ahead and kind of put it on and show you what it looks like so straps I hope you guys can see how that looks on me so it's not a huge backpack but great for like a day trip or an everyday bag size or whatever and I love the way it looks and the way it feels and this was shipped to me amazingly so let me pull this out because it's stuffed actually I'm gonna do a full completely separate review on this backpack because it deserves it 100% just uh, definitely look for this coming up because this backpack as simple and amazing as it looks on the front y'all are gonna fall over when you see all the organization and features and all the cool stuff in here so I'm gonna save that but this is the Thacker Neoprene Backpack in Heather Gray. So, I think that's actually the end of all of the random other brands. Now I'll show you the Lug and Vera that I've picked up. So let's start with Lug. The first bag I picked up was the Flare 2 in Bouquet Yellow. And I think this pattern is super, super pretty, too. It's just that pretty base yellow with those florals. I think it's super pretty. Um, I have not used this one yet, so I can't tell you if I, you know, how much I really like it or not. This is the one that came with the little charm. So I got an A for Amber. If I can figure out how to open the thing, then I'll show you what it looks like on there. So you just pop that little tab off, stick your little charm on, push that back on there, and then there's what it looks like. So it's okay. 
Now, I don't have the original flare, so I can't compare it, but I do know this one's supposed to be a little bit larger. And it came with the two straps. So this one came with the matching bouquet yellow strap and then the green strap. On the front, there's the little cell phone pocket. The back has really good sized um, zipper pocket. And then inside uh, this front wall has a built-in wallet, bunch of card slots, and then the big slip pocket behind it. Um, you have the key bungee in this corner. And then the back has a zipper pocket and then two cargo pockets beneath it if you can see those so this is a cute bag it's um not a big bag by any means but it's a cute bag so whenever i get a chance to try this one out i'll come back and let y'all know what i think of it oh and the base in this one you flip down you can't take it out completely but it flips up so that you can just kind of squish this down flat for storage. But it's, it's not a huge base, but anywho. The next lug bag that I picked up is a Ranger 2 in Azalea Pink. I love this pattern. They didn't make, a, or they didn't release a lot of bags in this pattern. And I'll be honest with you, the Ranger is not one of my favorite bags from Lug. Just because of the north-south design. It's um, it's a good bag, don't get me wrong. But I kind of struggle with packing it because I don't like to stack my items. But anyway, love this print. I think it's so pretty. It's like peaches and pinks and blues and greens and gorgeous pattern. So the Ranger 2 has this front uh, front pocket I just stuck the strap in there because I did already use this one uh, in here you have one two three four four card slots a clear ID window and then a key bungee if you can see those in there that's the front pocket and I'll give you all my in-depth thoughts about the Ranger later on, but you have your cell phone pocket, uh, slip pocket right there. The back, you have a, um, decent sized pocket, pretty big pocket actually, covers the whole back of the bag, and there's two little pin slips in it right there. And then the interior that the Ranger is famous for, which I do like this feature, that it opens up super wide with those gussets. On one wall, you have a clear zip pocket and two cargo pockets with the elastic at the top. And in the back wall, you have one large cargo pocket with the elastic and a zip pocket. Um, the Ranger's a good bag, don't get me wrong, but there are a few things I would change about it. And I'll go into depth on that another day. Today's just to show you the bags. Okay, the next bag that I picked up from Lug was the Jive. And I got mine in camo green. I love camo. Always have and always will. These straps are super squishy, but man, do they get wonky looking. And I haven't even used this bag yet. But they're really comfortable and squishy. And again, I'll go into my... Uh, full thoughts on this bag another day but your front pocket or you have a I just zipped it up so you have a zip pocket along the front right here and inside here you have another built in wallet with six card slots down here and then a, a larger slip pocket right there for bills or what have you and I'm pretty sure for those of you that need it and care about it that is RFID protected and then you have your little phone pocket right here with the magnetic closure the 
back side, we have another zip pocket and no other organization in that pocket, it's just a pocket. And then when you unzip the main interior, I have stuff in there, but there is the adjustable removable um, crossbody strap. I haven't used this bag yet, so inside here on one wall, let's see. Yeah, okay. On one wall, you have that um, clear view pocket back here. It's just covered with a sheet of tissue paper. And then in this side, there's another key bungee. And then on this back wall back here, if you can see it, there are two cargo pockets with the elastic around the top again. So, um, I do love me a good satchel. And that's what this is. You know, it's got the shorter grab handles, longer adjustable strap. And I think this bag is going to work pretty well for me. But again, I have a couple of comments about it that, um, or a couple things that I would probably change. So I'll go into depth on that when I do an actual review on this bag. But it's a really good size. It's not too big. It's not too small. It looks like it'll hold everything I need and more. And it's a satchel, so really, really like that. And then probably my favorite bag that I have purchased from Lug is the Tenor Set. This one is in Resort Black. And holy, you know what? This pattern is gorgeous. 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 Pinks and blues. And there's some green in there. And teal. And it's on that black base. I just think it's chef's kiss magnificent <laughs> so on this bag you the front of it is just the quilting really nice and clean and you have your little um, cell phone pocket right there with the magnetic closure you have your d-rings on each side to connect your longer um, adjustable and removable strap you have the two little grab handles up here that are just so tiny and cute. And they don't get in the way at all, but they're really handy. I really like those. On the back side, you have um, a zip pocket that goes all the way across. Love the interior of this pattern, too. It's those little palm trees and polka dots. In this pocket, you have two pen slots again right there. Love this pattern so much. I just think it's so pretty. And then this was called the Tenor Sit because it came with the um, little pouch. And it's connected to that bungee key clip again, but you can take it off, no problem. Um, the little pouch has a zip pocket along one wall and six card slots and the bigger slip pocket along the other wall. And... Uh, I'll do a full review on all of this again, too, but, uh, hint, hint, this did not work for me as a wallet, and I'll tell y'all why when I do that review. So, inside the bag, you have another one of those big clear view pockets against that wall, and on the same wall, right here in the corner, if you can see right there, she had a little bit of space, I guess, so she put one two RFID protected uh, card slots right there. And then against the other wall, you have two really large, good sized uh, slip pockets with the elastic on them again. So I really, really like this bag, just so you know. They're, uh, yeah, but I'll go more into detail later. So this was the Lug Tenor set, and this one is Resort Black. All right, now let's get into the Vera bags that I've picked up. First one I'm going to show you, I purchased Pre-Love. Super cheap. I got it for like 10 bucks. But as soon as I saw it, I had to have it. 
just to have it in my collection. I don't even know if I'll ever use it, but I'll show it to you. And the rest of them I purchased new, whether it was from one of the online outlet sales or uh, the retail side or factory outlet side, whatever it is, the rest of them I purchased new. Um, so let's get into that. I'm going to show you the first one, the pre-loved bag I got for 10 bucks. And this bag, you guys, is the ever famous Vera Bradley Designs Fenwick Hobo. Small Fenwick Hobo. Look at this, you guys. This is a piece of Vera Bradley history, and when I saw it for 10 bucks, I had to snatch it up. So this was when Vera Bradley went uh, and opened their Vera Bradley Designs uh, line. And this bag, I did look it up. Retail on this bag, it is a coated cotton bag. This was in camo, by the way. Uh, retail on this was like $300. If I can find the picture again, I'll put it up right here so that you can see the retail price on this. But um, this was the logo. Designs by Vera Bradley when they tried to go all fancy. So, I guess since I've already got this open, I'll go from the inside out and show you. The inside of this bag is extremely simple. The only pocket in there is that one uh, slip pocket. This is a teeny tiny little bag. This one does have a zip closure. The large Fenwick Hobo did not have a zip closure. But it has this oversized zipper pull. And then it has these two stupid ass little leather things. One hangs on the front, one hangs on the back. I don't know what the point in these were. I think in the larger Fenwick Hobo, you were supposed to like tie them and that was the closure to the bag. But these are stiff leather, so I don't know. They just kind of flop around and look ridiculous in my opinion. And like I said, I'll probably never, ever, ever use this, but I just got it because it was so cheap and I had to have it. The front has this little itty bitty teeny tiny pocket and I tried it. You can barely fit like a, a card in here, like a credit card or something. No pockets on the back. I do think that this strap is supposed to be adjustable. Like you can pop these little things out and move them around on each side to kind of adjust it. But I tried to pull them out to do that and they're stuck in there like somebody super glued their asses in. I couldn't get them to move. But I just had to get it. It was 10 bucks. It was a piece of Vera Bradley history. And the strap is a little too short for me. But uh, one of these days I'll figure out how to adjust it. And uh, I might use it once just for, you know, just to say I used it. But I just got it because it was cheap and it's a piece of history. And I had to get it. <laughs> All right, the next one I got was from an online outlet sale, and this one is just called the Small Vera Tote in Happy Blooms. And this was the special edition, the microfiber one, so it's on that seashore blue microfiber. And then the big flower pattern itself is the Happy Blooms florals, but in the background, if you can see there, it's got that um, plaid pattern that actually fills in the flowers. I can't remember which plaid it is, but I'll put it up on the screen. So they called this Happy Blooms, but it's the Happy Blooms motif filled in with the plaid pattern. Regardless, I think it's super cute, super pretty. I love this seashore blue color. It was super cheap, and so I grabbed it. Uh, so on this particular version of the small Vera, where it doesn't have these front pockets and it's got the embroidery and such. You have kind of a little hidden zip pocket right here on the side. It's got that little itty bitty teeny tiny baby zipper pull, if you can even see it right there. It's like the little teeny tiniest thing to ever exist. It's so small, like a little damn tic tac. But it gives you that access into that little hidden pocket. And I wish that hidden pocket or this little side zip pocket actually hit the bottom of the bag because it'd be so much more useful in my opinion. But anyway, like I said, full reviews, they're going to come later, you guys. I just don't know when to shut up. <laughs> so you actually get your little nameplate on the bag. So I guess technically 
you could choose to wear this with just the solid side facing out or the embroidered side facing out and you could have two looks in one bag so in here you have your standard um small beer strap strap drop what have you you know what i mean there and yes i'll do a full review on this later you have your uh top zip closure like all the others and i was blown away when i saw this next feature because i had no idea that they did this but the little uh, hidden slip pocket that sits along the seam on this bag it has a magnetic closure I, none of my other small beers have that hidden magnetic closure on this pocket but I don't have any of the other like uh, special embroidered ones or anything like that you can see yeah the outline of the magnet right there and then, other than that, it's just your standard small beer in there. Six slip pockets. So, clearly I haven't used this one yet because it still has the tags on it. But, I will use it. Have no doubt. I will use it. And I will come back and give you all a full review on this one. But, I just think it's really, really cute and pretty and springy and summery. And, I just really like it. So that's the second one, the small beer tote. The next one I picked up is the medium zip top tote in Cherry Blossoms. And this is from the factory outlet side. So this, I don't, to me it's kind of more of a north-south design, but the way it looks right now is more east-west. But when you fill it up, these sides kind of come in a little bit more and it gets a little more north-south. Um, but you get a longer adjustable removable strap with it. It is the ultralight, so it has that kind of uh, hardware on it. It's the only thing I'm not crazy about with this bag, well, there were two things. and Like I said, four reviews later, Amber, shut up. But it just connects on this little um, fabric tab. That's not working. Didn't make it any clear. Um... I'm not crazy about that. I wish it did have some actual hardware that was sewn in a bit better, but I've had no problem with it. The inside of your bag, of this bag, is the complete standard. One zip, two slip pockets, and then outside you have no pockets on the front, no pockets on the back, but you do have these um, slip pockets on both sides that are plenty big enough to fit a water bottle or what have you. So, yeah, full review coming later, but you also have these two shorter grab handles, so you can do a crook of the arm, or you can just carry it, what have you, and when you get this bag, these handles do stick up, but I didn't like that when I carried it, because I like to carry it as just a shoulder bag, as opposed to anything else, and um, these handles, when they were sticking up and I was trying to use it as a shoulder bag, they were kind of right in my armpit. So, I, uh, I made them lay down. <laughs> but, full reviews later, full reviews later. We're already past an hour. Shut up, Amber. Keep going. Okay. Full reviews later. <laughs> okay, the next bag I got was also from the factory outlet. And it is the saddle, saddle crossbody bag. And this one is in gingham plaid. Again, I told y'all, I am not really a plaid girl. Like, for my bags and things. But something about this gingham plaid got me. Really did. I love the colors in it. I love the just the geometric design of it. I just think it's clean and fresh and pretty. And for summer and spring, those colors. I just love it. So, if you're not familiar with the saddle crossbody from the factory side. It has this little turn lock flap on the front. And I have already used this one. It's just a pocket. No further organization in there. Um, I'll do a comparison with a couple of other bags for this style. So you can see the size of it. The back has that little tiny slip pocket meant for your phone or what have you. The adjustable strap, but it's not removable. It is 
definitely adjustable though. And then on the inside, it is your standard one zip pocket on the back, two slip pockets on the front. Um, this is a style that I wasn't crazy about at first, but I've come to really, really appreciate it and like it. So full review on this one, along with a comparison to a few other styles will be coming. So look forward to that. I really need to learn to shut up so that these videos aren't so long. That's the saddle crossbody in gingham plaid from the factory outlet side. This next bag is also from the factory outlet side. And it is the small go-ahead crossbody in peacock garden. And you guys, you heard me say it with the accessory video. I'm obsessed with this pattern. It is beautiful. I love the teals and the blues and the pinks and the florals. And again, unfortunately, I did do a phone order for this, my very first phone order, so that was um, interesting. I'll tell y'all about that later when I do some reviews on these bags. Shut up. Keep going, Amber. But anyway, I did not get to pick out pattern placement on this. Not that the peacock is like a huge um, necessity for me. It's really not. I just like the overall pattern, honestly. But... The lady that um, was so kind and gracious that I spoke to picked me out this bag and she said that it was a really good one. It had a peacock right on the front and it does right there on the side. His tail's cut off, but that's okay. So the small go ahead crossbody has two slip pockets, one on each end. This is the factory, um, factory style or factory outlets version of the on the go kind of. So the uh, zip pocket right here. No organization inside there. Nothing on the back. And then again, inside is your standard two and one. One zip pocket, two slip pockets. And then the last bag that I have to show you guys is from the retail side. And it is the bucket crossbody in Bloom Boom Navy. That's a mouthful. No pockets on the outside of this bag on the front. One on the back. It's that little um, cell phone slip pocket. I wish it went all the way to the bottom, but full reviews later. <laughs> the inside of this bag, again, is a standard two slip pockets, one zip pocket. But this is a really good sized bag. And this pattern, um, the Bloom, Bloom Boom Navy, it's, it's so pretty. This is the one retail pattern that I told you guys I actually liked. So, again, I will do full reviews on all of these as we go. I just wanted to try to get them all through there. So that's all the bags that I've picked up since I have been gone from YouTube. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know which of these bags you want to see more information about so that I'm not doing videos on the ones that you're like, I don't give a shit about that one. Show me this one. <laughs> so let me know which ones you want to see more info about, more, um, you want to see the comparisons and what fits and all of that so that I know um, which videos to start or which bags to start with and all of that. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope that you found it a little bit entertaining, a little bit informational, maybe a little bit of both, and you want to stick around with me. If you all have any comments, any questions, or you just want to say hello, leave me a comment down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I will see you guys in the next one, which will be really soon, because I placed an online outlet sale order again, and I have some stuff coming from some other places. But anyway, enough for today. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.